Summer, of course, starting to wind down, but tick season is still in full swing. But is there any way to prevent ticks, or are there places the insect is more prone to attach? The I-Team's Derek Rose separating fact from fiction and debunking some popular tick myths with today's Verify Report. It's a problem that has parents worried all the time, those dreaded ticks. But fighting them off can be a daunting task, and there are many questions like... Will I get sick if bitten by a tick? So we reached out to our Verify expert, entomologist Dr. Anthony Lentz, who tells us it depends on timing. In order to contract Lyme disease or ehrlichiosis, both of which can be transmitted by ticks around here, it, the tick needs to remain attached for 24 to 48 hours. So getting sick, we can verify. What about using nail polish, petroleum jelly, or heat as simple solutions to remove ticks? The only way to really get the tick out is to pull, just to grab the tick with tweezers right at where the tick enters the skin. We confirm those so-called home remedies for tick removal are false. All you need is a simple pair of tweezers. And some even believe wearing a hat will protect them from ticks. It's pretty unusual for ticks to be that high up. Uh, most ticks are going to be down low, probably a foot to two feet or lower. Although a hat may protect your head, it won't keep ticks away. That too is false. And do ticks really die every winter? Some are going to die off every winter, but enough survive. Some survive just by remaining attached to deer, so they're warm enough. Once again, false. And what about the notion ticks normally attach to hairy parts of your body? They are adept at getting anywhere. Uh, they'll be behind them. The knees, I mean, they'll, they'll be any place there's a bend, they'll be any place there's not a bend. So people find them on their ankles, on their knees, I mean, in their armpits, on their neck. Doesn't really matter. Like this, our Verify expert confirms many things you've heard about ticks are false. Dr. Lentz says the best way to protect yourself from ticks is to use products containing DEET or picaridin or simply cover up. I'm Derek Rose, WHAS 11 News. Right, Derek, thank you. If you have any stories you'd like us to verify, please send them to us. Just email your ideas to verify at whas11.com or reach out on Facebook or Twitter.